time. Um, hold on. Oh no. What is it? Is it this? Okay. Fancakes has been around for a long time, started his debut in JBHL Season 3, I believe, was in Orlando Solar Bear under Chewy. Uh, didn't make it too far in his playoff run, became a goalie mid-season, and then he moved over to uh, Switzerland, Team Switzerland, where he made it all the way to finals, was not able to get the gold medal, though, so Switzerland came in with the bronze, or excuse me, silver. After that, uh, I know that he's been around, I believe that he was on the Hawks and the Admirals Season 4, don't know, I think he retired in Season 6 or so, not... Not fully sure what uh, exactly he he went to, but I know he retired at some point. And now he is back. So then we also have Tufa. I believe Tufa's new, or this is one of his first seasons. So I'm not sure much to say about him. And over here we have Chaos Flix. Chaos Flix also made his debut in JBHL season three. Got banned uh, for hacking, although he never did it in game. He just kind of went on a rampage one day, did some stuff that he shouldn't have done, and then got banned. So now he's back, uh, and he's played for quite a while now. He came back, I believe, last season, made his impact on the Admirals, starting as a goaltender, slowly switching over to skater as time went on, and here he is. Now for the Huskies, we have all brand new players. So Quake, Kath, uh, Griffin, Garelli, and Obtuse Boy is not part of them. Uh, Cobra Strike is. So that's that's where we're going to get our start. Really excited to see the performance for everybody and how this goes. Hopefully it goes good. Why am I so high up? What the hell? There we go. All right. Tufa's going to take it. Get a quick shot. Gorilla's going to knock it to the side as Griffin's going to go to collect it. Uh, Chaos Flex is going to keep it in. His name's Lil Luke. That's going to throw me off at some point. Griffin... Looking to keep it along the boards as Chaos Flick battle for it. Somebody P3'd it there. I believe that that might have been Chaos Flicks by the way that the puck went. Quake's going to go collect it out behind his own net now. Griffin's going to start looking for that stretch pass. However, Quake says, I want to bring it up myself. However, he lets it go. Chaos Flicks is going to grab it. Blocked by Quake. Qu uh, Chaos Flicks will dump it into the zone as Quake brings it to the boards. Quake does a little move to get it out. Gets past everyone. Has a little bit of a break now if he can keep up with it. Continues kept up with the Fancakes looks like he's AFK. He's back now looking around and it is hit out of play for an inside zone faceoff. Quake wins it back. Griffin not quite there to make the P3 play. I believe that's what they were going for. Tufa hits it out of play though, so we're just going to have a repeat of this. Most likely going to have Quake win it again. Quake is pretty good at the faceoffs. Wins it. Blocked by Tufa. P3, just as I predicted. Quake's going to battle for it in the back now. He uh, fans on it for a second. Tufa's going to go ahead and collect it. Uh, Griffin kind of in no man's land, not quite watching the pass. They need to watch out for that. Chaos flicks up top, just completely alone. As Quake brings it around the boards, get past everyone. And once again, chance there for a second if Griffin could just be a little faster. Griffin playing really passive right now. Ooh. Great block by it, but P3'd away by Chaos Flix. Chaos Flix looking to just dump it into the zone any way he can. Now Quake's going to collect it again, wrap around the boards once again. Looks like they're having kind of a hard time breaking it out, uh, but the other team is having a harder time keeping it in. Ooh, <laughs> Tufa, good attempt there. Wide, though. Gonna pass it out to Chaos Flix after his attempt. Chaos Flix not quite able to do it. Good block by Griffin. Gorelli was there to make the save, though. Gorelli a little bit out of position. Needs to go to his right a little bit more. Gorelli blocking his own player. Not his fault, though. Hitbox is kind of big. Oh, boy. Catholic Rocks, not... Or Catholicism, whatever. Not quite looking uh, to block the pass. So it gets out to Chaos Flix, who just kind of had a British moment. Still kind of getting stuck in their own zone. Huskies can't get it out right now. Looking for a P3. Just P3 it up. Oh, what a pass. Fans on the shot. Tufa with a chance now. They can hit it into the boards, but it's going to be crouch blocked by Quake. Quake with a chance now. Quake's going to bring it up, and he's going to shoot wide of the net. Probably back checked by someone. I don't think he would miss that shot normally. It's kept in by Griffin. Griffin's going to take a shot. Passed away by Fancakes. I'm going to bring back to the boards by Tufa. 
Dude, I love peanut butter. It is so good. I was gonna make myself a peanut butter and jelly before this game, but then I didn't. Um, so that kind of sucks. <clears throat> Quake's gonna battle for it on the boards once again, looking to get it out. They really just need to P3 it. Uh, they could get such an easy breakaway if they just P3 it out. Not sure if UP is telling them to do that or not. Like right here, just boom, P. Oh, what a, that was, that, okay. That was good. That was a good move by Quake. Griffin going for a cherry pick, but Quake's not able to get it up to him. I think the biggest issue is they're kind of playing like they need, they're going to go for a pass, but then they never do. So, there you go. Now Griffin has a chance. Two foot's kind of back forth though, but Griffin's going to bring it in off the post. Fan kicks knocks it away. Griffin with another chance, going to wrap it around, going to pass it out. Not Quake, not there, uh, not far enough. Puck did not go high enough. Now uh, Chaos Flicks with a chance, passes it out. Right in front of the neck, Garelli says no, hits it. Garelli with his own mask, uh, lost a bet on that one, but he bought a stick, so I guess that's fine. <laughs> uh, kept him by Chaos Flicks. Now Chaos Flicks in 2-5, I, I feel like Tough might have, I'm pretty sure Tough has played on the Eskimos last season. Yeah, he's definitely he's he's definitely a little experienced. So that means uh, the Rams, their entire team, looks like they've been around. Great block by Gorelli. Chaos Flick's gonna dump it in. Probably was going for a shot, just missed the net completely. Wonder if they're gonna put Cobra Strike and Quake on next uh, next round. Another shot. Gorelli says no once again. They're bunching quite a bit. Gets it out, past everyone, has another chance, runs past it. See, uh, they're, they're spreading up so wide. Quake with another chance. Now, he has a ton of room right here. He fights all. Fancake says no. Fancake not known for being... Shot! Oh, Fancake not known for making uh, great saves back in JBHL Season 3. Lost his spot to Polar Bear Friend, I believe, right before playoffs. Now that I think about it. They're going to just hide in the corner now. Pretty good move. Not a lot of time left. Cobra scored scoring the goal last game uh, to put the Huskies up 1-0 against the Eskimos. Looks like, I guess egg is a to uh, eggs on toast is a coach. Was not uh, aware of that for the Rams, or he maybe he's JVHL skater. I don't know. He's he's on he's on the bench. He's ready for it. Whatever's going on. I don't really know what to say. Like during intermissions, like my brain is filled with knowledge of really stupid things and i don't really feel like you guys would care about that whoever's watching back the stream or watching the stream live i don't even know if i'm streaming correctly right now because i never looked at my phone let me go look this is probably it's probably showing something i should not be showing right now media posts and we go with the face off it's gonna be cobra strike you guys gotta play up a little bit more if you're gonna pass it back okay it is working Quake and Cobra Strike, not sure how the communication's going right now. Husky's having a really hard time with bunching. I mean, they're literally both on top of it. Again, Chaos Flix has that pass. It's completely open. Someone needs to get up there. Garelli, slap it away. Good job. Gets it through both defenders. Garelli there to make the stop once again. And they get it out. Cobra's going to go and pressure it. Uh, crouched a little bit too late. However, Quake did not. Got it. Perfect timing. Uh, Rubber Duck Boy, I believe that is a player for the Rams. Again, he has also been around for a while. I didn't realize how many JVHL players this season are just <laughs> still here. Cobra Strike gets a pass. Has a chance now. P2s. It slips past Fancakes for a second, but then the Butterfly hitbox says no. Quake gonna try to battle for it. He's gonna go back, gets past him. However, he slaps it to the boards. Him and Cobra Strike literally inside of each other. Chaos Flicks with a chance, shoots it right into Gorelli. Gorelli, uh, kind of carrying the Huskies on their back right now. 
biggest issue is they just cannot get it out. They're not communicating. They're literally both on top of the puck. I don't know what's going on in that voice chat. Cobra Strike with a breakaway. Oh, any fans on it. Quake says, okay, now's my chance. I'm going to take it. Gets past both defenders. Shoots it. Slapped away by somebody. Didn't see quite who it was by the, the weird delaying of it. Uh, me, Zero Q. It's me. Or Zekiro. Dude, nice goalieing earlier. I saw that. You did a good job. Blocked away. Garelli once again. Now we have an offsides uh, tagged up. Quake gonna go recover it. Not quite able to do a corner move what he goes for. Again, not watching that pass. Really bad mistake here for the Huskies. They're they're playing this weird, like, breakout style gameplay, but it's just it's not completely working. If if they if they P3 pass it, they they would be so free and they have so many more chances, but they're not, and they're just standing on top of each other, both kind of running at the puck. Quake gonna knock it to the boards. Tough gonna go. A little bit. Ooh, good ping by Quake. Quake with the chance now. He's going to bring it in. Slapped away by Chaos Flix. Chaos Flix is British. Fun fact, sadly. <clears throat> Papri. Ooh, getting a little chippy. Yuki asking to play their second line, which is a good point. This is JBHL. The whole point is to develop players. Uh, however, a lot of team owners, they just like to play players that have been here for months because they know how to play and it's an easy win. Again, Cobra Strike not there for the pass, going for his own stretch pass, but they're not doing it. That is on sides now. Shot, Garelli once again, really keeping him in there. N no idea how many saves he has so far. Shh, pass it out. Oh, no. <sighs> P3'd up. Shot. Blocked by Cobra Strike. Tough battling for it for a second. Again, they're both on top of each other. Tough with a chance. Five holes. Blocked by Gorelli once again. Chicken's going crazy. Cobra Strike. Gonna bring it up. Fans on it. Every time he gets to the blue line. <laughs> and uh, they line change. Griffin not quite ready to hop on the ice. Battling for it on the boards now. Gets past everyone, not able to get the shot off. Goes for the shot, misses, probably had a P3 charged up. Cobra Strike's gonna block, gonna cut to the middle, cut to the outside, it's stopped by Tough. Cobra Strike gonna go once again. Griffin with the puck, passes it up. I, I really wish they would P3 pass just a little bit more. I think we'd see a lot more depth from the Huskies if they would do that. Shot! Ooh, kinda saved by thin air there. Garelli, Garelli, a little bit out of position, but just just enough that he was able to save that again. Passed out to Chaos Flix. No one's watching the pass. Cobra Strike gets past everyone. Chaos Flix says, "No, I'm still gonna knock it to the corner, though. I am British. I have a British accent." Tough gonna take a shot. Gorelli once again saved by the corner of his pads. Cobra Strike gonna knock it to the boards. They should really just keep it in the corner. Try to. Tough's able to get it out but not able to score. Man, let's see what the stats are so far. Look at that, tough, 139 touches. Fancakes three, Garelli 16. Let's see if the second line comes out at all. Eggs and Rubber Duck Boy, two players that are have also been around. However, they, you know, they just, <laughs> Teams do this. Eggs is ineligible. I thought eggs was a 1.0. Somebody going crazy right now. Like a little little fly. Holy shit. Is that Exoeva? It is. Exoeva. Where where'd you go? I don't know where she went. Oh. That's Zekro. There, there she is. Exoeva, JBHL legend, season three, carried the Huskies back then, looking to maybe do it again if, if they're allowed back in the league. However, probably won't be because, uh, you know, they're, they've been around for a little bit. They've been around for a little bit. 
but <laughs> I'm looking at chat. Uh, yeah, so GVHL legend carried Huskies to finals, got completely demolished in finals by the Toros. However, they were hacking. So instead of uh, replaying the series, both teams just realized, hey, we don't have to schedule this. And then the commissioner said, hey, we don't have to give out a winner. So there is no winner for JVHL Season 3. Although the Dallas Ducks would have won because the Miami Toros were just stupid. Stupid team. So we got four seconds for the final period. Might go into overtime with how this game is going so far. Garelli really keeping him in there. At any point, he could make a mistake, give up a shot. But he says, no, dude, I'm a, I'm a chicken. I'm a chicken, and I'm going to stay a chicken. Guys, please just pass it out to each other. They're giving you so much room. Watch the pass. All right, Griffin's there. Kind of shoots it right into Tufa. Tufa going to bring it along the boards. Goes to corner, move it out. Not quite able to get past. Uh, I'm drawing a blank. Quake. Quake going to bring it to the boards. Going to look out. Doesn't really do much. Wraps around the net. I'm running out of things to say. Quake brings it to the boards once again. Griffin kind of kind of starting to watch the pass. A little bit behind. Going to be passed out past the blue line. Quake with a chance. Chaos Flix is there, though. Chaos Flix misses. Quake dancing around him. Quake almost gets it past everyone. Chaos Flix last second. Battle to the corner. Going to be cleared away by Griffin. Still on side. Stopped by Garelli once again. I don't know how many shots Garelli has had in this game, but it's... Ought to be at least 20. Bunching again in the corner now. Slapped away by Garelli into the corner once again. Chaos Flix battling for it. He is British. He is uh, beating up Quake TFM or TFA. Stopped by Tufa. Gets around for a second. Great pass out. If Chaos Flix was just a little bit closer, that would have been great. Quake with the chance. He brings it in. Not able to get the shot off. They're both bunching. Now Tufa with the chance. Tufa P2s it right into Gorelli. Gorelli. Oh, off the post. Gorelli back, though. The entire Huskies team is back. Why did he P2 it right into the zone? I don't know. Passes out. Quake with another chance. He's gone. He's going. He shoots right into Eggs on Toast. Needs to shoot a little bit earlier if he wants to get any I mean, not Eggs on Toast. Fan cakes. If he wants to get, a, you know, a good angle, he kind of waits a little bit too long. Same issue that Tuff just had a second ago. You're going to fight for it in the corner again. Passing out to Tufa. Man. Oh, man. Uh, Griffin, oh, great five-hole play. Jumps on the boards, ruining his drive. See, look, see, wow, shot onto his own net. Chaos flicks. See, this is, uh, this is the issue, is that as soon as they get it to their zone, the other team P3s it out, which is what the Huskies are not doing. And although that's not all you want to do, at some point, you got to try to do it. Because wrapping around your net over and over again kind of does, doesn't do much. It would be kind of funny if someone punched eggs on toast onto the ice and they got a too many men call. Nips. Somebody somebody whisper nips and tell them to punch eggs on toast onto the ice. Quake gonna stop that. And it's shot right into the bench. Watch out, rubber duck boy. Pass back, shot into the corner. That would have been a great pass if uh, he had committed to it a little bit sooner. Looks like the Huskies are going to collect the puck before the other team can. Hopefully, they're waking up and they realize, hey, I have a uh, power that goes all the way to three. Passed out. Kept in by Chaos Flick. Shot, and he scores. Uh, again, a case of people who have been playing for months against players that have been playing for two weeks again the huskies biggest issue right now is that they're not they're not getting it out of the zone and then when they do get it out of the zone the other team just p3s it out 
Now they're gonna put Rubber Duck Boy on. I think that... Save once again by Gorelli. Great positioning there. Quake gonna bring it up. Rubber Duck Boy running straight back. Quake with a chance. Cuts to the middle. Able to be collected. Griffin gonna keep it in. Fancake's gonna block it though. Quake gonna go to collect that. Pounces on it, but Tufa's gonna get past him. Brings in a shot right into Garelli once again. Garelli. Quake with a chance. He has so much space. He shoots! Looking for a pass out to uh, Griffin. Not quite there. Battling for it. Huskies pull. There's 30 seconds left. As the clock winds down. No one there to collect it. Quake there. Curves. Cuts towards the middle. Shoots. Couldn't get the second shot off. Looking for a pass out. Tufts just going to keep it into the corner for a second. Oh, shot on goal. They're kind of bunching once again. Seven seconds. Someone has to go down there. They're just going to keep it in the corner and delay game. Punch them. And the Rams will win it. 1-0. And that is... The Huskies' second loss in a row. Again, though. Against players who have been around for months. This is all from BSN. Have a good night, guys.